Well, without stating the bleeding obvious, right off the meat of the bat, it's no secret here at the Backyard Tech Channel, Old Mate does not like Arch Linux. I bear the battle scars of saying I don't like Arch Linux. Mainly because I refuse to bow down and believe Arch is the world's best distro and everyone should be using it. I don't believe it suits everybody. The only Arch distro that hasn't fouled up on me yet and I haven't had to have a massive dummy spit with it is Dan Calloway, aka Data Pioneer, his Arch spin, Guruman Linux. However, a good mate of the Backyard Tech channel put a lot of time and effort into the artwork and the main promo music I use here at the Backyard Tech channel, Silent Robot, has come up with his own Arch Linux spin. It's system setup and product review time here at the Backyard Tech channel. This one, we're gonna have a bit of a sticky beak at Silent Robots, Silent OS. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is System Setup and Product Review time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Monday and we're taking a look at Silent Robots, Silent OS, an Arch Linux spin. Now we're going to do this in a two-part video. Now the reason we're doing this is Silent has very kindly asked me to do this on real metal, okay, which we're going to do. But at the same time, I'm also going to do it in a virtual. Now, look, I've, I've said this before and I get annoyed with people who don't understand this. I would rather test an operating system in a virtual environment before I put it on real metal, not the other way around. Test it on real metal and then put it into a virtual. But Silent Robot has kindly asked me if I would do that first. All right. So basically he's come up with his own Arch Linux bin. It's an XFC interface. There are two versions there's the version that has all the nvidia drives in it drivers i should say and there's the version that doesn't in which case you're going to have to manually add them we're going to look at just the first version which is just the xfce ver uh, version with no nvidia drivers in it now in order to do this system setup and product review video i'm going to have to use the phone followed by the webcam plugged directly into the rig that we're going to do this on. Now, I've organized a Core i5 rig for this um, just because it's a hell of a lot easier than stripping down the main rig, my main PC, and reconfiguring it from the ground up again. That's just messy, all right? So we're going to drop this onto a Core i5. It's 2.8 gig. It has 4 gig of RAM, and we're using a 150-year-old technology for the hard drive otherwise known as a SATA hard drive, which these days by a lot of people is frowned upon. I don't know why. So we're using a Western Digital Caviar Blue SATA hard drive, which is like 300 years old, um, four gig of RAM and a Core i5, I believe at 2.8 gig. Okay. And we'll have a look at all the features that he's installed. Now, as I said, there's two versions. There's the one with the NVIDIA system in it, but you've got to manually add the CUDA cores to it. And then there's the one where you've got to manually add all the NVIDIA system to it if you're going to do it that way. But we're just going to look at Silent OS XFCE. If, like Guramon, this proves to be a somewhat friendly version of Arch, I may consider having it as an alternative, but that does not in any way, shape or form mean that I am going to bow down to Arch in believing that it is the only Linux operating system the entire world should use, because I'm of the opinion it doesn't suit everybody. But anyway, for the first time for Silent Robot, here at the Backyard Tech Channel, as always, let's give Silent OS, the Backyard Tech Channel treatment, gonna have a sticky beak at it. Let's get into it. All right, so here's this test rig that I've got. This is just one of the 
cobbled together computers I use for testing operating systems on metal when I on real metal when I feel like it. It's a Core i5, 2.8 gig. We've got four gig of RAM, a graphics card, one of these shockingly terrible five century old SATA hard drives, a Western Digital Caviar Blue. It's not five centuries old. 320 gig. But you've got to remember, people think these have only got like a, a one bit per hour transfer speed. Okay, these are really, really slow. You shouldn't use them. <laughs> so, one of my ever-reliable Western Digital Caviar Blue mechanical drives. As I said, it's Core i5, 4 gig of RAM. It's uh, 2.8 gig. I am installing it off a USB key. Got wireless keyboard and mouse. And as I said, we're just looking at the non-NVIDIA one for this one. And a DVI monitor. Just want to check the uh, check the BIOS time. Yep, BIOS time's right. That's good. Okay. And we'll go in and boot from the USB key. Camera struggles to focus as always. Okay, so we'll go in and boot from the USB key. Um, I'm not sure which one, I'll just take that one. All right. DMAR, failed to map DMAR zero. Hmm, okay. All right. Dynamic linker cache. Authorization map, network time. Stopping network time synchronization. Started network time service. Okay. It's a bit weird. Ah, there we go. That's actually quite a nice interface. VBox client. Hang on. This is going on to real metal. This shouldn't be getting VBox clients to run. All right, let's uh, begin the installation process. Welcome to Silent OS XFCE installer. Yeah, I'll use British for this. Uh, no, I'm not in Europe. I'm in Australia. And I'm not in Lord Howe, I'm in Melbourne. Okay. Hey, that's better. At least it knows where Melbourne sort of is. <laughs> All right. English, English, Australia. Keyboard is Australian, which is good. Erase the disk. Okay. Backyard. Now, the law specifies you're supposed to use a different password for the administrator account. I'm not. I'm just going to use the same password. That's highly against the law. You don't do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. So, camera won't focus again. It's the only problem with this camera. All right. Once this is done uh, and installed, we'll come back. All right. Well, we're nearly installed. A little bit slow, but that's because I'm using, you know, the ancient old SATA hard drive that is just too slow to use these days. <laughs> Now the problem I've got now is I appear to have lost my mouse. Oh no, there it is, right in front of my eyes. Huh. Jeez, it's a long time since I've done one of these installs using the mobile phone camera, isn't it? 
Thank you for choosing Silent OS XFC edition. We hope you enjoy the distribution for your daily use. Install the packages. It's even got Silent's little logo there. Hey, okay, yeah, Silent Robot's little logo. Okay. All right, let's uh, restart now. Failed unmounting. Oh. Camera's a bit blurred. Whoa, camera's really blurry. I don't think this plugin I've got's working. Hang on a minute. Yeah, this plugin I've got for my phone doesn't work too well. Oh no, that's not what I want. Oops. Hang on, that's the wrong button. <laughs> I actually want to boot the hard drive. That one. Mr. Grumpy's cranky. Alright, that's a nice little desktop environment. It's Solent OS XFCE Linux. Okay. Whoa! Time's out. Hang on. Alright, and we're in. So we'll log in and then I'll go and get the uh, webcam and we'll uh, we'll have a sticky book. That's interesting. That's not my logo. That's Silent's logo. Oi, Silent Robot, why have I got your logo for my name? Old mate wants an answer. <laughs> Alright. I'm not supposed to have Silent Robot's logo. Sorry, mate. I should have changed my logo. All right. Now, that's interesting. There we go. All right. Let me go and get the webcam, and we'll have a sticky beak. All right. So, a couple of things I like about it already. One, it hasn't spat the dummy on me yet. So, that's a good thing. All right. It hasn't crashed out on me yet. Being a rolling release, though, there's a couple of things that you're going to need to do before you even start using it, which I've never done with Arch, and I get belted every time I say it. Okay? And that is bring up a terminal. And we've got to do... P-A-C-U-P-D. Right, this will go off and synchronize the database now. Apparently this is what you're supposed to do with Arch. So this is what we're going to do with Arch. Okay. So you can see there we've got 14 packages. Then you've got to go sudo packupg. Packupg. I wrote those notes down, by the way. <laughs> well, first impression, yes. First impressions are, it's actually nice to look at. That's the first impression I get. It hasn't spat the dummy on me yet. It hasn't stalled out. It appears to be quite nice. A couple of things I don't like, which I'd obviously move, would be the panel. I don't like the panel being up there, but that's just personal preference. We're going to let this all go through first before we actually do anything. So there's a fair bit that's got to be updated immediately. And this is what I never do with Arch, which people yell and scream, scream at me about. Update it before we start using it. So you're going to start using it, update it first. Because uh, otherwise, especially if you're going to do a video on it, you'll get the Arch people having a dummy spit with you. 
I mean post transaction books. Okay, so it's updated. All right, so now we can actually start get in and have a look at what we get. So already you can see there OBS 2202-3. We've got our settings. We'll have a sticky beak at those shortly. We've got the accessories. Development, fluid and meld, games. Steam's there by default for the gamers. Graphics. Look at that. You've got Blender, Darktable, GIMP, GPIC, Inkscape, Nomax, Raw Therapy, and uh, Simple Scan Interwebs. Chromium, Firefox, obviously Steam, Telegram, Desktop, Thunderbird, and Transmission for your BitTorrent. Holy moly, have a look at what we've got here. So we've got Audacity, Handbrake, Caden Live, OBS, Pulse Volume, Q Tractor, QT VLC Test Utility, Video Capture Utility, wow. SSR and obviously the Pulse Audio Volume icon. Office, we'll add, you'd have to add. And there's the system, let's H-top it. Let's see how heavy it is on this old thing. A little bit heavy. Obviously, it's caning the hell out of my CPUs. These these are older CPUs. So you put it on newer architecture, it's going to be perfectly fine. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. Look at this. Arch, and it hasn't completely had it with me. So we'll go in, check out Firefox. Graphical Settings Manager. Oh. Okay. Version have we got here? I should get into shop a bit better, shouldn't I? 65 0, that's alright. I'm chewing up half the screen here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that. Hang on, I want to do that. Okay, so there's Firefox. Let's have a sticky peek at what else we've got in here. Okay, so, okay. Now testing, no VLC. Oh, LMMS, oh nice. Caden Live, we're familiar with that. Uh, this isn't actually that bad. I'm quite impressed with it so far. There's Simple Desktop Manager. Now, where is... I've got to find it again. Settings. Panel. Oh, no, that's... That's not it. Once I figure out how to move it, I'll move it. Look at this. It's actually it's actually quite all right. I was actually I'm quite impressed with it. GUI designer, compare and merge your files. Advanced raw photo development program. Okay. Color picker. Blender. It's actually not bad, is it? Go have a look at File Manager. Nice. It's not actually that bad. Um, I'm, I was skeptical because I've said this many times in the past, Arch and me don't get on. And every time I say that, I get yelled at because I refuse to bow down to Arch. But in actual fact, I think Silent may have, I'm not saying he's definitely have, but him and Dan may have actually made two Arch Linux spins that old mate might be able to use. Let's go in and have a look at our software updater. Actually, let's have a look at that and remove software. So that's a decent package manager. You could get used to I could get used to using that. There's our repos, which I don't know whether I need to get any of them at the moment. Software up data. 
Ah, okay, so that makes life a bit easier. That makes life a bit easier, to be honest with you. Let's have a look at some of the, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Let's have a look at some of the desktops. I want to try and find one that's Victorian. Doesn't look so dark. Hmm. That one's a bit better, isn't it? I'll definitely have to change the desktop background. Um, okay, so it's all right. I, uh, A, it updated and didn't break on me, which generally speaking, Arch does by default. Um, its layout is nice. News, icons. I wonder if I can change properties. Yeah. Single row panel. Icon and title. Here we go. Behavior. Someone's making some awful noise outside. I don't know what they're doing. It's actually quite nice. I mean, it it's arch. But I think he's I think he's done a very nice job of this. A very nice job of it. There's a couple of things I'd probably add into it. I want to go and have a sticky beak at this though. Yeah, oh, that's him. Oh good grief. <laughs> if only I had a keyboard. Oh yes. I'd love one of these. So it is, it is nice. I mean, it hasn't, a simple GUI for installing, selecting, oh, right, I, I, it is nice. It hasn't, um, it hasn't done me too much hassle yet. Let's go and have a look at SDDM. So there you go, you can mod your SDDM. Now you've got to remember, this isn't exactly a high-flying computer, right? This is an older Core i5. It's only 2.8 gig, and we've only got 4 gig of RAM. And this is actually really, really stable. Really stable. I mean, everything just works, which is... And this is what I keep saying. If I, For me to like an operating system, it's got to be easy to use. It's got to not foul up on me. It's got to be stable and it's got to be straightforward. And I find, generally speaking, Arch is not. Except for, obviously, Gurman from Dan Calloway and what appears to be Silent Robots, Silent OS, because I updated and it didn't crash on me. Here's the kicker, though, is whether it will reboot. And that's something we're going to find out because... If it falls over on me on a reboot, I know we've got a problem. So let's reboot it. All right, so out of OBS, restart, and let's see whether or not it crashes. <laughs> oh, I think it is gonna crash actually. Guaranteed it'll crash. I'll be honest, he's done a very good job of this. He's done an excellent job of this. There's plenty in there. It works, or it should work. A job is running for session two of user backyard. Hmm. Oh dear. You want to know something? I think this thing just fell over on me. Because <laughs> ah. my hard drive is stalled out. Well, I'll be honest, it does work. Okay, there's no...
question about it, it does work, which is good. We've seen it working. The question is whether it'll stay working. And if it doesn't finish by 1 minute 30, I will just reset the drive. I just reset the computer. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, hang on. I've still got the USB key in there. Whoops, I forgot to take the USB key out. And finally, camera's focused. That's why I don't. That's why I don't use this mobile. Why I don't use my phone camera unless I have to. Uh, no, I actually want the hard drive, don't I? Welcome to Grub. Okay. Now I'll have a dummy spit about the super block again. Recovering the journal. Clearing orphaned inodes. Oh, that'd be right. Let's see if we can log back in. If it logs in, video's done. If it's not, I gotta try and fix it again. Hard drive is working though. I hope. And there we go. There we are, guys. Silent Robots, Silent OS, and uh, for an Arch Linux spin, it's actually reasonably good. I quite like it. It's not that bad. There we go. Stick around. We're going to take a look at it in a virtual environment coming up soon. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.